Hi, this is Dr. Grande. I hope you find this video useful. If that's the case, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Hi Tracy, Charles, Anna, it's good to see you again today. Hello. Hello. Uh, I saw you last week. We covered a lot of ground there. I appreciate you coming back. Uh, you had mentioned before that you've been married for 20 years and your daughter Anna is 16. Mm -hmm. And we talked about kind of some of the family history. And today I was hoping to get more into the particular issue that brought you into counseling. Well, we've, we've had a pretty eventful week, haven't we? I don't know what she's talking about. It wasn't that bad, but well. well we, we had our an arrest <clears throat> earlier this week. There was a, the authorities were involved. There was alcohol for a minor child. It's just, uh, it's just getting out of control at this point. All right, so Anna was arrested? Yes. It was more a warning, it wasn't, you know, an arrest, but she always blew things out of proportion. It wasn't that bad. Well, it's on her record. Yeah, but she never, you know, she, she wasn't arrested. She, you know, the, you know, she was brought home, they explained what happened. She's a teenager, it's typical teenager, you know, things. Every kid do that eventually. I don't think it's that much of a deal, you know. The, She's not a criminal. I mean, this is what I'm working with here. So, Charles, you see this more as uh, a normal thing that happens to, to teenagers? I think so. You know, every teenager usually has these escapades and, you know, they try new things. It's kind of like, you know, they don't really think over stuff and they think it's fun. And so, yeah, well, you know, it might end on her record, but. It was just kid stuff. I, I, I don't th see her as a delinquent, you know. All right. Not as a delinquent. And Tracy, you have a different feeling. Well, I do. I, I feel like if she's allowed to continue, because this isn't the first time something like this has happened. So I feel like this, what are you laughing at? See, she, and she so thinks it's dramatic. funny because there's, so there's you know, he thinks it's funny and this is just, it's not. It's, this is, this is our child. She's gotten in trouble with alcohol before, and it probably won't be the last time if it's funny. What are you saying, Pete? As if she was a drunk, you know, like a hardcore you drunk. You drink wine all the time, Mom. You want the I'm not back. a minor. I'm not a minor. Well, you know, you let me have wine here and there with Sunday night dinners. What's the difference? So, Anna, what do you think about this arrest? I mean, it was a warning. A warning? What do you think about this warning? My mom doesn't like it. Your mom doesn't like it? Yeah. Any other feelings about it? Is it a big deal? I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm just mad I got caught. Is it something that you've done before and didn't get caught? Yeah, but I don't really drink like that. Every once in a while I drink, but... So the problem really wasn't the drinking, the problem was getting caught. Well, yeah, I'd keep doing it if I didn't get caught. So does that resonate with you? It, it upsets me because she she's done this before and she just hasn't gotten caught. Mm -hmm. And Charles... <laughs> You know, it has, is enabling her, I feel like. I feel like he's enabling her to do things because she's a child and because that's what kids do. I'm and 16, it's okay. Mom. It's not that big of a deal, but to me it's a big of a deal. To me it is a big deal. And, it's, and I feel like we've instilled these values that we've had and now there's just, there's, it's okay. For her, everything is a big deal. That's the thing. You know, if I work late, it's a big deal. If, you know, if I go have beers with friends, it's a deal. You know, if I try to do something fun, it's a big deal. I'm the one bursting my head, you know, working, 
trying to bring money to the house while she's in the house all day long, doing nothing, now that, oh, drinking, according to her daughter, you know, and then, you know, she takes it on me. I, you know, we've been married for 20 years. I think, you know, we deserve to have some fun, and that's what she was doing. She was having some fun, that's it, you know. But for you, fun is a word that you don't know anything about. You don't know anything about fun. For you, everything is serious. Everything have, you know is terrible. I have fun. We have fun. She's 16. When? She's 16. She can't be having that kind of fun. That's dangerous. Uh, watching Titanic, you know, for the 20th time is not fun. Okay? Not for me, at least. All right, so there might be some differences of opinion here around um, some of the boundaries and some of kind of what's enjoyable and what's not. You think that Tracy has kind of a narrow view of I what's think, enjoyable? I don't, you know, when we got married, she was lively, she was fun, and she's getting uptight, you know, as years go by, you know, she's getting more and more uptight, and everything, it's, you know, as I said, a big deal. Everything, mm -hmm. you know, it's a problem. Everything, she always has something to criticize. Whatever I do or whatever, you know, Anna do. And she takes on Anna. I don't know why. She's always taking on Anna. She wants me to be perfect. Yeah, you feel like she wants to be perfect? Yeah. I have a lot of pressure on me. Not from my dad, but... Not from your dad, but from your mom? Yeah. Do you think that contributes to the drinking at all? Well, I mean, I do everything I'm supposed to. I go to school. I'm on the cheerleading team. And, you know, if I go over to my friend's house and we just stay there drinking, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, I'm a teenager. I'm going to do these things, Mom. Well, you are doing these things. Well, I want to have fun. Would you rather you know that I'm drinking instead of hiding it? I'd rather you not at all. You're but a why? Child. You're a child. I'm not a child. I'm 16. So, Tracy, do you get the sense that it's uh, Charles and Anna against you in this dynamic here? I do. I feel like Charles is at work all day, and he's been at work all day for the past 16 years. And I'm, you know, at home, and I've been trying to do this parenting and trying to it's it, it's hard this is not easy raising her is not easy you're not home it's it's not it's not always fun I'd, I'd love to be having more fun and having had more fun raising our daughter so but why it's, is this dad's fault I never said it was your father's fault but that's fault. how you're making it I, I never said that I said that he's not home to actually because. see how hard it is to raise a a child. Because I'm working. I'm working like crazy. You know, to have the house we have, so you can change your car every, you know, five years as you like, so that you can buy jewelry, we can go on vacation. Cabo. I come, you know, I come from a very humble family, and, you know, I know when parents are very strict on you, and I don't want that for my daughter. So, Tracy, you seem very frustrated when Charles was going to the talking about that. I just I feel like I can't I can't make him understand or see what my day is like and what it's been like. I mean, Anna's always been difficult. She's been difficult, and I've I've been as a parent. I've I've been trying my hardest, and it just it's hard for me to accept the fact that now I've raised a daughter who's 16 and sees nothing wrong with getting drunk after school just because she feels like she deserves she can do that because she's doing well in school and she's on the cheer it just it's it's it crushes me really and I feel alone you feel alone I do hmm. do you feel distant from both Charles and Anna? I do. I, I'm no fun on this side, and I'm controlling on that side. It's just, I, I, I feel like I don't have a place. Yeah, you're like the bad guy. Of, I am. No, I'm not like. I am the bad you guy. You are the bad guy. I am the bad guy. And 
he's, he's rolling his eyes. I, <laughs> and she's laughed. Like, this is what I, I, I live. This is my life. I, you know, I'm trying to what have a What is so hard about what you do all day? You don't know anything exactly, about Exactly, because I'm at school doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, there's a household to clean. There's, I mean, you're... I mean, how many, how much cleaning could you fit into... You tell me. How, why are you going through all these clothes every single day? You, you've got never-ending piles of laundry. I do my own laundry. laundry. Your dad doesn't clean anything after himself. You make me do my own laundry, kitchen. so you're you not doing do. mine. 20 years, and it's like you don't, can't wash one single dish. This, you know, why? Because... There's cups all over the... I, I'm cleaning. I'm yeah. cleaning the house. Because I do the, all the work outside, you know, the house. That's what I do. You know, so if I don't rinse a cup, you know, after having coffee in the morning, I don't think it was, you know, so terrible. I don't think it will mess up your schedule, you know, that bad. Is there a division of responsibilities that you uh, have agreed upon in terms of, like, who will do the dishes and who will earn money and will take care of your daughter? Things it's like been, that? it's, my husband goes to work. He's, he, I can't work. I haven't worked for 20 years. And? And it's been known and accepted. And he, he, he goes to work. And I, I'm home, so I'm, I'm cleaning. It's just how it's been for 20 years. It's just we've tried to kind of do things differently. I've tried to, you know, chore lists that never worked out, you know. And I mean, how much am I supposed to do? She does everything by the time I get home. I clean my room, I do my laundry, I do my homework. Those are my three responsibilities. And she's still finding something to complain about. So you feel like you're, you're doing what you're supposed to. You come home and you fulfill your responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she acts like I'm doing heroin, like everyone else is. Well, you may as well. That's Drinking is heroin not heroin. Heroin is not... Heroin is a real thing. You should be happy I'm not doing heroin because all these kids I go to school well, with are doing Well, that's terrifying to me. What do you think they started off with? Probably drinking alcohol. Oh, they went right to it. I mean, you never know. I, you know, I think she does her part. She's doing well at school. She's got good grades. She's in the cheerleader team. I think, you know... I don't think to go, you know, overboard saying heroin is the next thing, you know, to do. Let's, you know, it was, she had a couple of beers every now and then with her friends. And, you know, that's what teenagers do. I know I did it when I was her age, you know. And I'm not doing heroin. And I'm not doing things. And I'm I working. I never said that. You know. See, you're, you're automatically assuming that I was attacking her. I, just like you always do. You know, two months ago something similar happened and it was okay and it ended up being my fault because i own wine so since there's wine in my home automatically i shouldn't have i caused her to drink my wine because i own it and you blamed me well she's not gun toting things and you know i got my guns under you know lock so it's not that she's like taking she can't, like she doesn't have access to your guns if she well but she to. has access to your wine clearly so if she got a hold of your guns it would be your fault that no, she went and shot people no no because this i take care I of it i with. take care of it i lock them this, she can get them this type of communication yeah this and they wonder why i want to drink look what i have to listen to